Hey there folks. So in this video, we're going to be going over an example unit conversion problem from the module zero notes. And so this is problem seven, where we are asked to convert three feet squared into inches squared. And so in this video, we're going to use two different approaches and we're going to see if we can get to the same, res same result using both approaches. The first is going to rely on the unit conversions that we are given in the module note packets. So you may have noticed that there isn't a conversion from feet to inches directly. We have one foot to 30.5 centimeters and we have one inch to 2.54 centimeters, but we don't have a direct conversion from feet to inches. So we're going to use a two-step approach for this first approach where we convert feet squared into centimeters squared and then we convert centimeters squared into inches squared. And so this is where we rely on the information that we are given in the module note packet. The second approach we're going to do is going to rely on using some prior knowledge that we may have. And so a lot of us probably have an idea of how to convert inches into feet. And so this is to think about a ruler. how many inches are in one foot? So from a ruler, we know that 12 inches are equal to one foot or one ruler. And so this is, um, this is a unit conversion that we have experience with. And so since we know that this unit conversion is correct, we should be able to get to the same final result using approach one, from the information that we're given in the module note packet and through approach to, to leveraging some prior knowledge that we have. So we're going to start with approach one. So we have three feet squared and we are going to want to convert that into centimeters first for this two-step approach. And so we're going to make use of the conversion factor one foot equals 30.5 centimeters. And so we have feet squared up top, so we're gonna want feet on the bottom. So we're gonna divide by feet, one foot. And that leaves us one divided by, one foot divided by one foot is equal to one which is equal to 30.5 centimeters divided by one foot. <clears throat> and so we can multiply anything by one and we'll leave it unchanged. So this is why the unit conversion process works is because we can multiply 30.5 centimeters divided by one foot and not change the problem at all. So we're going to multiply through 30.5 centimeters divided by one foot. And so we want to get rid of feet squared. So we need to square this whole term. And so this was the first step. And now we want to convert centimeters squared into inches squared. And so we're going to use the second step, which will be to use 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. And so ultimately we want to be left with inches squared up top. So we're going to divide each side by 2.54 centimeters. And so that we are left with one is equal to one inch 
over 2.54 centimeters. So again, we can multiply this equation by this ratio and leave it unchanged. So we're going to multiply through 1 inch divided by 2.54 centimeters. And since we have centimeters squared up top, we need to again square this ratio so that we have centimeters squared on the bottom and ultimately we have inches squared up top, which is what we're looking for. So just labeling this, this is the first unit conversion that we utilized and this is the second unit conversion that we utilized. And so from here, we can just start simplifying. So equals 3.0 feet squared times, we have 30.5 squared, that is equal to 930.25. We need to square the unit as well, so we're left with centimeters squared over one squared, which is just one, and feet squared. And then for the next one, we have one inch up top. So one squared is just one, and then inches squared. And then we have on the denominator 2.54 squared, which is equal to 6.4516, and then centimeters squared. Now that we have everything written out, we can start to cancel units. So we have feet squared up top. We have feet squared on the denominator. We have centimeters squared up top. And then we have centimeters squared on the denominator. And that leaves us with the base unit that we're looking for is inches squared. Now we can simplify all of the numbers, and if we do that, we are left with 432.56. We are left with inches squared. And in terms of three significant figures, that is equal to 433 inches squared. So let's count squared is equal to 433 inches squared. And so now let's try the second approach. So the second approach was using prior knowledge that we may have where we knew that 12 inches is equal to one foot. So we have one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we have 3.0 feet squared is equal to 3.0 feet squared. We have feet squared up top, so we want to get feet squared ultimately on the bottom. So we'll divide each side by feet for right now, one foot. And that leaves us with one is equal to 12 inches over one foot. So again, we can multiply anything by one and leave the expression unchanged. So we can multiply this three feet squared by our conversion factor, which is 12 inches over one foot. We have feet squared up top, so we need to get feet squared on the bottom. So we need to square this whole ratio. So we can simplify this. We have 3.0 feet, oops, feet squared is equal to 3.0 feet squared times 12 squared is just 144. We need to square the unit as well, so we're left with inches squared. 
And then on the denominator, <clears throat> we have one squared, which is just one, and square the units as well, we are left with feet squared. So at this point, we can now cancel. We have feet squared up top, and we have feet squared on the bottom. And then what we can do is we can just multiply through. We have 3.0 feet squared is just equal to 3 times 144 which is equal to 432. The only units that are left are inches squared, and that's ultimately what we want. So that is our solu solution using approach two. So let's compare approach one and approach two. Approach one got us 433 inches squared for 3.0 feet squared. And approach two got us 3.0 feet squared is equal to 432 inches squared. And so those two are equivalent. So all that approach one, the, the difference in approach one is that we have a little bit of a rounding difference. And that's okay. So this highlights the fact that we want you to show your work so that if there is a slight rounding difference between maybe what one student gets in the class and another student gets in the class or what I get and what you get. That way we can see what approach you did and, and figure out where the difference is. So if you don't write anything down, it's hard for us to find where a mistake may have been. And so this, this highlights the need to show your work. Both approaches work in this case. You can rely on the prior knowledge um, from approach two, where you know that 12 inches is just equal to a foot. Or you can, you can use the approach from the information given within the module. So just using, using what information you're given and just doing a two-step approach if there's not a one-to-one -one conversion like there was in this case. So we are very explicit in this example and as you become more and more comfortable with converting units you won't have to show this step that I just boxed in orange. That would just become automatic. I just wanted to be very explicit in, in showing why we're able to do this unit conversion process because multiplying by one doesn't change the expression at all. The other thing that I want to highlight is for units that have squared and cubed in them, don't forget to square and cube the conversions themselves. So as this becomes more and more automatic, the 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 further you get along in this course that's going to be something pretty common to just skip where you just search out you're looking for feet you just have the unit conversion for feet but you forget to square the whole conversion factor that i know that's something that that i run into on the occasion where if i'm just kind of rushing through it and not really thinking about it since it becomes almost second nature that's something that you can forget and ultimately it's going to carry all the way through to your answer.